the the idea has been to create and build and and along the way build trust and along the way um, uh, do things where you're not trying to force people to do things or you're not trying to necessarily sell people on things and you're not telling people what to do. Let's start right at the beginning. I know when we we chatted, you were talking about. You know, you had some strong ideas about how to to build a brand. Can you talk about those ideas and how they played out in the early days of when you were setting up um, Ethereum and how you and the team sort of went about building what's now, I think, probably the second most popular coin on Earth? I've never been a fan of school. I Growing up, I didn't like going to school. I didn't like being told what to do. I didn't like normal. I didn't like... I, I like to make my own decisions and school was really was really something I just did not enjoy whatsoever. And I, I went to university because that's kind of what you do with, in my family and you go to university, but it wasn't, and I took business with, with the market. It wasn't a passion of mine. It was just, okay, what are you going to do? I felt a lot of it and a lot of sales and marketing is really trying to convince someone to do something. And it really doesn't align well with my ethos of how I, how I operate and work. And um, I felt marketing, even if it's something you don't really believe in, the goal of being a marketer or a salesperson is try to get that person or get someone to, to, to make that action and purchase it. So I didn't really align well with the whole ethos of the marketing space and sales space. I went into something called geothermal drilling, and I, I bought this big drill from Italy, and I proceeded to start a drilling company in, in, in Toronto, in Canada, where I'm from. And uh, we would we would drill hundreds of feet into the ground and use zero temperature to heat and cool buildings. And I, I did it for commercial projects and condominiums, and I did it for retirement centers and homes. And um, at that time, there was really a, governments were trying to, to push green technologies, and there were subsidies. And um, uh, I'm not a big fan of government subsidies, but I don't need to get into that right now. But uh, <laughs> it was a thriving business for a while, but then. The, the the political party changed and the the focus wasn't on really green energy anymore it became very very um, a lot of red tape was being put on the processes and it just became not feasible anymore i started listening to this one podcast that was about uh, uh, it was called free talk live and in there they they mentioned bitcoin for the first time and i'm like what the heck what is that and this was 2012 and um i i grasped the concept right away of the ability to have uh, be my own bank and the ability to to have technologies that were decentralized and the ability for individuals to have more more control over their lives and it really resounded with me and I for the last ten years have been in that rabbit hole of the cryptocurrency space and to me it was about about being able to create value and being able to be in control of my digital assets and to not be told uh, this is a system that you have to follow and I then started building businesses in that space. So getting back to your question about branding, um, I mean, the idea is for me has always been to do things differently. The idea has been to not do things the normal way. Um, the idea is not to try to, to sell the people on things, but to improve people's lives with the way that you do things. The, the idea has been to create and build and, and along the way, build trust and along the way, um, uh, do things where you're not trying to force people to do things or you're not trying to necessarily sell people on things and not telling people what to do. Um, and uh, to me, a lot of it's branding. A lot of things is about, you know, I'll, I'll relate it to how I built my personal brand. It's, it's about how can you, how can you be trustworthy and how can you uh, take the ethos of the space that I'm in, which is a lot to deal with transparency and trust and using technology to help better people's lives and, how do you put that together to create a, 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 an ethos or a leadership structure where people can look and say, hey, I like what this person has, has done with their life and um, their brands seem to exude the principles of what the person lives by and, um, and maybe there's some value to, you know, to, to learn from what others have done and that, that are similar to that. So to me, building a brand is built on the principles for myself and what I abide to. And, and I don't differentiate what I build or what companies I run to me. And they come from me and they come from, from what I believe and stand for. For me, the brand is, is, 
is to be developed on based on who you are. It's not a, it's not an acting kind of thing. It's not here's my here's my who I am and here's here's how I have to be different in order to sell this or do that or create that brand. To me, it's it's about being being uh, being authentic. <music>